Good evening, everyone. We did it. We filled up our last seven-box off-season football mixer. This is random team break number three. And uh, a big thank you to these folks for getting into the action. Mark with that last spot mojo. There's everyone else. Here are all the teams. And let's randomize the names and teams. Six times. Four and a two. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, Sam Golden on top, TJP on the bottom. Four and a two, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, we've got the Kansas City Chiefs on the pole and the Colts in the number 32 spot. Let's make the font a little bit bigger so you can read it on your screen. A little bit better. All right, Sam, you got the Kansas City Chiefs. Mike Thomas with my Raiders. Jeremy with the Browns. Joe Foster with the Giants. Vic with the Jets. Curtis Erickson with the Buccaneers. Mark with your last spot mojo, Vikings. Rick with the Broncos. Oppo Joe Mojo. Reggie with the Patriots. Mark with the Falcons. Karen with the Saints. Steve with the Cowboys. Karen with the Eagles. Mark with the Cardinals. Steve with the Bengals. Curtis Erickson with the Panthers. Mark, you got the uh, Steelers and Packers. Mike Thomas with the Titans. TJP with the Bears. Daniel Anderson, you got the Rams and the Lions. Corey with the Texans. Daniel with the Jaguars. Johnny with the Dolphins. William with the Bills. Ryan with the Ravens. Jeremy with the Seahawks. Neil, you got the Chargers. Andrew with, <laughs> Andrew with the Redskins. Ryan with the Niners. And TJP with the Colts. Andrew buys the Redskins. I'm hoping you get a different team. Oh, well, you've had some luck with them. Yeah, might as well get that Cousins auto out of here. Uh, William has the bills for trade, by the way. I don't know. The fun of the random team break, Andrew, is like you can get a different team. Like the one that you normally wouldn't buy, and maybe you'll be surprised. But we'll go with consistency, too. Uh, before you trade, remember, um, they're all 2017 except for this box. That's 2016, so that guy, rookies. And then this box is 2015, so just keep that in mind. Everything else is 2017. Uh, Daniel wants to see if he could trade for the Browns. Lions for Browns. I don't know if Jeremy Cole is here. If you're here, Jeremy, speak now or forever hold your peace. Mr. Anderson would like to uh, get the Browns. Anybody else? Oh, right. Steve would like one of those guys. Steve Freeze got randomized the Cowboys. He's like, this guy sounds good. Or Dak Prescott. Now, that was crazy. If you think about how crazy last year was, those pick your teams, it was like the Cowboys were always like three three or four times as expensive as the next team, and then that was it. I'm, I like 2017 so much better because even like the most expensive teams like the Bears or the Chiefs or whatever, you know, Panthers, Jaguars, all those teams are kind of in the same price range, so nothing's too outrageously priced which I think makes selling these breaks a lot easier, uh, at least from the from our business side of things. All right, doesn't look like trades are going to happen. Lines for bills, maybe? Did I really? Oh, was that for you? Did you get the Redskins last mixer, too? Come on. You're supposed to get something different. Just try something new. Bills, Lions, Daniel? Right, Steve agrees. Much more friendly on the price. Yeah, yeah, indeed. And it makes it a lot easier. Daniel says, sounds good. Oh, okay. So we do have a trade. All right, so. Bills for Lions confirmed. Oh, 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 I see. You were just saying in general, the last mixer. All right, I get it. All right, Bill's lines confirmed. So Daniel, you now have the Bills. William, with a little T next to your name for trade. William, you now have the Lions. So we'll keep track of that with a T so you so you know. And you'll also see that T on your little name tag labels on the on the hits that you receive when we ship them out. So you'll be like, oh yeah, I got this in a trade. Adds to the adds to the story of your hits. You can be like, oh yeah, I got these guys in a trade. I got that big hit. All right, let's have that print out. We've got a knife here. I think we're 
are ready to go. I don't think there's any college players in here. So I don't think I have to explain my college rules. But... All right. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. Here is the final list. There it is. Thursday. Random team three. Corey wants some Deshaun Watsons. You got some good chances there. There's Last Bot Mojo Star. And there's everyone else. Thank you very much, everybody. Hopefully I have all the supplies I need. I think so. Close enough anyway. All right, let's uh, let's go back in time. Let's start with 2015 first. No, those were the days. Remember 2015? Remember? I don't... I, I mean, do I really remember 2015? 2015 NFL Draft. Let's see what happened in that 2015 NFL Draft. Does anybody remember what happened? All right, it was the Winston Mariota year. Okay, so that's what you're looking for in here. And then there was Amari Cooper, Dante Fowler Jr., Brandon Schreff, Scherf. It's a pro bowler, I think. Uh, Leonard Williams was in there. Kevin White never panned out. Vic Beasley, this is actually a pretty decent draft. Uh, Eric Flowers is pretty solid. Todd Gurley, Trey Waynes. Melvin Gordon was in this break. Marcus Peters. I mean, a lot of linemen and whatnot, but and defensive guys, Landon Collins, but still, it's not bad. Tyler Lockett was in this. Oh, David Johnson was in this break, in this break, in this year. Jay Ajayi is in this. I'm just looking at like guys who ended up being Pro Bowl. That's not that's not a bad draft at all, actually. Yeah, that's not that's not a, that's not a bad draft at all. Well, very nice. So that's that's what we're looking for in this box. All right, good luck, everybody. Start off with these cards. Seems like they would be numbered. They're not. We got Devin Smith, Silhouettes. That's a catch. Silhouettes jersey and autograph for the Jets, Jets, Jets. That goes to Vic. There you go, Vic. One, two, three out of 299. One, two, three. One, two, three. We've got Chris Conley, Relic, Rookie Royalty Relic for the Chiefs. That'll go to Sam Golden with the Chiefs. This die cut and Relic. Oh, this top loader is not good. This top loader is good. 459 out of 499. Cameron Meredith. Yeah, you would think these green foils are numbered. They're not. Clive Walford. Oh, Clive Walford. So many hopes for Clive Walford. Rookie auto for the Raiders. 16 out of 29. Although, still could be somebody. Uh, Mike Thomas with that one. 190 out of 199. T.Y. Hilton. Thank you, Hilton, going to the Colts. That'll be for T.Y. going to T.J.P. And we've got Steve Largent, Achievements Relic. That's pretty cool. 89 out of 99. Nice Steve Largent. The, I think one of the, one of the few wide receivers who got into the Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility. I'm pretty sure that's the correct stat. Correct me if I'm wrong, Seahawks fans. But I'm pretty sure that's the, that's the little bit of trivia for him. And if you look at wide receivers in general, a lot of them don't make it in on, the, on their first try. All right. 2016 now. Donner's Signature Series. Good luck, everybody. All right, we're going to start off with some Elusive Ink. That Elusive Ink is Teddy Bruschi. Nice Teddy Bruschi going to the Patriots. That'll be for Reggie with the Pats.
The redemption is Elusive in Gold. Mark Schlereth. Broncos? Steve Freeze? Is that right? He doesn't have them. He, Rick Hunt has the Broncos, but Steve's a Broncos guy. How do I spell Schle? schle? <laughs> it's got to be Broncos, I think, right? That's only... Oh, Redskins, too. Uh, but what about on this checklist, though? Hold on. Now i got to look. 2016. Donruss Signature Series. i got to see what where they put him. Because he played for the Redskins as well. So according to CardboardConnection.com, Mark Schlereth is a Denver Bronco in this set. There you go. Thanks, Steve. There you go, Rick. Rick with the Broncos. Little opposite Joe Mojo. Um, gold. Gold, gold, gold. What is this? So elusive ink gold should be, it says 25 or less. 25 or less. The mysterious or less. You got a few months. That's when it expires. All right. Tony Lippett. Miami Dolphins. Tony Lippett going to Johnny Gonzalez with the Dolphino, Dolphinos. Fins up. The fish. And we've got Jersey Auto. Keenan Reynolds for the Ravens. Ryan with the Ravens. All right, there you go. Now we are in the world of 2017. Let's... Uh, Get some prism football going. Three autographs, nine numbered parallels per box on average. So I have a question for you guys. There's always, every year, right? Every season, there's always a team who didn't make it to the playoffs the previous season that does make it to the playoffs this season, right? Let me get the uh, standings up here. So who is that, who is that team going to be? In the AFC, the teams that got close were the Ravens, Chargers, Ravens and Chargers basically. But Bills, Ravens, and Chargers all finished at 9 and 7, but tiebreakers and whatnot – got the Bills into the playoffs. The Ravens and the Chargers were outside looking in. Steve says Denver. Although, I mean, Denver really just quarterback short, right? So that all depends on that. I mean, obviously, I, I would say, me being a Raiders guy, I'd say Raiders. But realistically, I'm Chargers. Chargers look pretty good. They've got a good balanced attack. They got, you know, healthy Mike Williams could help them big time. Uh, Ravens, maybe. Bengals, Dolphins, Texans were well on their way. They were four and well, they were a playoff team the season before. Dropped to four and twelve because of you know because of Deshaun Watson. Rick Rick saying his Bengals. Bengals are turning around. I mean, yeah, the AFC West is going to be a nightmare. We're 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 gonna we're gonna vulture so many games from each other. Like, it will end up being like one of the last seeds because we'll just beat each other up all season long. That's what I feel like. That's what's going to happen this, this season. In the NFC, the teams are outside looking in. The the Lions and Seahawks and Cowboys were all nine and seven. Yeah, those guys seem to be the best candidates. But what about some outsider candidates? Cardinals maybe. They got a quarterback situation figured out. Packers and Redskins were seven and nine. Uh, Niners, Jimmy Garoppolo, savior of the San Francisco 49ers. Are, is that the team? And remember, the Jacksonville Jaguars, right, in 2016, the Jaguars were three and 13. And then the next season, bang, they were 10 and six. So. New York Football Giants were three and thirteen, right? Niners are six and ten. Bears and Buccaneers five and eleven. Colts and Texans four and twelve. So a big, big shock turnaround can't. It is possible. The Jaguars proved it. 
There's Reuben Foster, troublemaker for the Niners. That goes to Ryan Redman out of 275. There's Travis Benjamin for the Chargers. That'll go to Neal and the Bolts at a 275. There's Tom Brady and the Patriots. Reggie with the Pats out of 199. There's Eddie Lacy for the Seahawks. Now there's also, you know, teams that made the playoffs the year before, but won't make the playoffs the following season. Who are those teams going to be? You know, is it, out of two seventy five Eddie Lacy. Now what? Obviously, you can't predict injuries. That's usually that's usually what happens, like with the Packers. You know, so that's I think that's harder to predict. I you, you have to try to do these scenarios assuming that. Everyone is uh, is a hundred percent, and we don't know who's drafted who yet either. Matthew Days for the Browns. That'll go to Jeremy Cole. Out of seventy five, uh, uh, that's a good point. Chiefs were ten and six with the conservative Alex Smith. Alex Smith actually did did fine first quarter of the season, um, but yeah, the, I can't see Patrick Mahomes. Even though he's my homies, uh, I can't see Patrick Mahomes really leading. Then back to the play. There might be a year or two off before they are returning to playoff contention again. There's Chandler Jones. 8 out of 75 for Mark and the Cardinals. Eric O saying the Bills. That's true, yeah. Bills, unless they find like a Kirk Cousins, it's like I don't think the Bills are going to be are going to be back. Titans? Do you think the Titans do? Titans have to... Titans are pretty well constructed, I feel like. There's Dante Moncrief. Wave for the Colts. That'll be for TJP. Rick saying the only uh, the only two Super Bowls the Bengals been in now were against the Niners, and it'll happen again. This could, this could be the year. It's true, yeah. You never know, though. If Kareem Hunt, right, Steve, if Kareem Hunt ends up being like the David Johnson to their team and just does everything. What is this sorcery? Patrick Mahomes, he heard us talking about him. He's like, I'm going to, I'm going to pop out right here. My homies, Patrick Mahomes, three color patch and autograph. This isn't, this isn't real. I can't, I don't plan this folks. I don't know what's inside. Chiefs. That goes to Sam Golden with my homies. What are the odds of that? <laughs> Talking about that's uh, 50 out of 99. This is a great time, obviously, since he's a starter now, basically. This stuff has been hot. His, the value of his cards have skyrocketed. Sup, Todd? What's going on? I can't believe that happened. That's the kind of magic that happens here at Jaspies. John Ross III. That'll go to the Bengals. That is 112 out of 199. Adoree Jackson. Autograph, black ink autograph for the Titans. Yeah, that's a case hit too, by the way. That Patrick Mahomes out of that prism. And to get lucky enough to have that box into this mixer and then pull it. Titans, that goes to Mike Thomas. Nice one, Mike. And there's Patrick Mahomes again. You never know. Even that rookie card could be something. I 
if he becomes the next if he becomes the next Tom Brady, you want to grade this refractor right here and sell it for like a thousand dollars. Robert Kelly for the Redskins that goes to C O Turtle. Boom, one thirteen out of one ninety nine. Rick had the Chiefs last night, he says. Did you? Oh. It's like football. It's a game of inches. Gerald Everett. Out of 99. Green scope autograph for the Rams. That'll be for Daniel Anderson. Game of inches. Sometimes you'll see a game where someone, a rare ref tries to put an envelope in between the football and the... Uh, and the first down marker, just if you, if you see what's going on. 2017. We're talking about playoffs? We were talking about playoffs. Mr. Moore, Coach Moore, playoffs? We're talking about playoffs. Rick's like, I'm not mad. I, I, I believe in fate. So what do the Patriots have to do to not get to the playoffs ever again? Is it basically wait, wait for Tom Brady to get injured or retire? I feel like that's really it. Or maybe Belichick to, to retire? What does a world of no Tom Brady and Josh McDaniels look like? Is that dark times for the Patriots? Will there be new kings being crowned in the AFC now? Who takes advantage of that? Or is it just is it just like King Lear, you know, and a bunch of his kids trying to divide up the kingdom? Could be that. Could be that. I think it looks great for the NFL. I mean, you know, dynasties are good, are a good thing, but but I think I think there's definitely been an oversaturation, an oversaturation of uh, of the Patriots. No, Karen will be the first to admit. She she said this before in the chat. She's she's the she'd be the first to admit. Like, hey, listen, I, I can't complain about the last twelve years. You know, like this is like, you know, the the Patriots were perennial laughing stocks. You know, they're like. To knock out this much, that's a lifetime worth of championships. Mac Collins, return of the Mac. Nice three color patch. 16 out of 25 for the Super Bowl champs. That goes to Karen. What a weird, what a weird break. Where we're like talking about talking about people and then they're referenced in the next hit. Yeah, Rick's saying I see a lot of top ten picks coming their way. Right. Well, it'll be interesting unless Belichick, unless Belichick and uh, and Brady. There's Alshon Jeffrey, 1999, also for Karen. Unless Belichick and Brady like retire at the same time, you know, it'll be interesting to see. You know, it'll be interesting to see. Like, hey, um, you know, because there's that age old question: Is it Brady? that makes Belichick or is it Belichick that makes Brady, you know? Which I think it's a fun topic to 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 talk about, but I feel like the I feel like the answer really is kind of boring. It's a bit of both. It's a bit of both. Uh Boss Hogs, Marshawn Lynch. Hopefully he bosses it for another season. Let's see some beast mode before he retires again, re-retires. Raiders going to Mike Thomas. There's Michael Thomas. Does this go to Mike Thomas in this break? No, he has the Raiders. Karen has the Saints. There you go, Karen. Out of 299. Eric O saying, the question is, will the Patriots start having the close calls go against them once Brady and Belichick are gone? 
I mean, that is a, that that kind of bias is a thing. That's the human element to refs. You know what I mean? You look at veterans in the NBA and the calls that they get versus rookies in the NBA. It's just kind of a natural sort of thing. I mean, Belichick has been successful as coach for a long time. You know, he's got relationships with the with the referees. Maybe maybe some calls go their way. You know. But yeah, does Josh McDaniels get that same respect when and if he takes over? I don't know. C Free says, I don't see them not re I don't see them not retiring at the same time. So they are gonna retire at the same time? Uh, we got a redemption there. There's uh, there's Terrell I don't know who I don't know who this guy is. Terrell Basham, 189 out of 299. Colts, that'll go to TJP. Feel free to guess. The redemption for bragging rights. For sorcery purposes. It's going to be... Wow. RPS autographs... Kareem Hunt. That's crazy. What a break for Sam Golden and the Kansas City Chiefs. He got the uh, he got the Patrick Mahomes out of the previous box, the Prism, and now gets a Kareem Hunt RPS autographs redemption. Sweet Kareems are made of these, Sam Golden. Yeah, Rick's like, did I mention I had the Chiefs last night? In this very mixer too, right, Rick? A game of inches, folks. Sam Gold, it could, this could have been Sam Golden. Not you could, the, your roles could have been switched just as easily. That's the crazy part. Uh, absolute football, pretty solid stuff. You know what I really liked? Speaking of absolute, absolute basketball, I thought was really great. Maybe we should try to get some more of that. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve, so Steve, back, going back to what Steve said, he says, I don't think one could leave without the other. It would seem unnatural. I know. I think, you know, I think to make the transition as clean as possible, right? Because if Belichick leaves and leaves Josh McDowns with Brady, you know, both of those guys are going to get crushed by the media every time they have, like, a bad game or something like that. You know, it would just be like, well, obviously it's Belichick. You know, Belichick was the was the key to this offense, but they'd never get a chance to do anything. They almost have to. I would almost say you would have to retire at the same time. If you're like Kraft, you'd be like, hey, you guys have to leave at the same time. <laughs> I don't want you guys. Let Josh McDaniels just have a fresh start. You know, just clean start, clean slate. All right, good luck, everybody. I feel like Brady would want to stay though, because he'll just be like, "I want to prove that, prove to everybody I could do it without." It's like, like Kobe saying, "I could do it without Shaq," but then he had to get Pau Gasol. And, uh, there's iconic Inc. 52 out of 99, Laquan Treadwell. Treading well is Mark Glassman, Last Bot Mojo. I'm telling you, 75% of the time, Last Bot Mojo hits 100% of the time. It's true math. Quad Relic Tools of the Trade, Jared Goff, 48 out of 49. What a bounce back season for him and the entire Rams organization. Daniel Anderson. See, that's what a that's the thing. That's that's what a good coach can do. Look what happened, you know, once Jeff Fisher was gone, you know, they got uh, they got Sean McVay in. Next thing you know, the Rams are in the playoffs and their offense is clicking. Is it the coach? What came first, chicken or the egg? Her cousin's Alex Smith. That's kind of funny. That's Illuminati right here, folks. Did Panini, did they predict this? Did they predict this? Kirk Cousins out, Alex Smith in to replace Kirk Cousins. That's weird. That is strange.
20 out of 499, Shelton Gibson for the Eagles. That goes to Karen Steele. And a sexy hit, Kenny G. Triple Relic and Autograph, 207 out of 399. Select comes out tomorrow. Select comes out tomorrow, Damien. We should have pre-orders either late tonight or uh, obviously before I go on air tomorrow. Jaspyshobbyland.com. Uh, oh, the Lions were in a trade. Yeah, that's right. I just looked at the sheet. And there's a T next to William's name, which indicates a trade. So William L. drawing first blood in that trade with the Saxy autograph. Another case hit, too. That's the glass. Out of 100, Jeremy Hill. That goes to the Bengals. Steve Freeze with the Bengals. All right, so what is what is this? Oh, I thought there would be an eagle behind there. All right, so the bottom two cards should predict the future. Right? Uh-huh. So... We pulled these two cards out in the first pack. Obviously, football fans, you know the relationship there. Huh? What do you think the storyline is here? Joe Flacco, A.J. Green goes to Baltimore? Joe Flacco throwing passes to A.J. Green? Looks like he's, he's about ready to catch a pass from A.J. Green. He's, he's getting set up. You know, he's getting in position. You heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first. Ed Reed, 499. That's for the Ravens. Ryan with that one. We've got, nice, Christian McCaffrey. Rookie Reflex. 22 out of 100. That goes to Curtis Erickson and the Panthers. Uh, or maybe the Bengals. Knocking maybe an A.J. Green. Maybe for some crazy reason, A.J. Green gets an interception from Joe Flacco. Like, it has to be that kind of wacky. That's that's what I think. 4 out of 25, rookie force. The juice, O.J. Howard. Remember the Fox Force 5 in Pulp Fiction? O.J. Howard, that goes to... Um, the Buccaneers. Curtis Erickson, the Buccaneers. Nice. Yeah. I'm so used to not looking out for that because we never hit the jersey number. 22 out of 100. That's his jersey number. So there you go. Some extra, An extra bonus right there, Curtis Erickson. Usually like those eBay one of ones like 100 out of 100 or one. Those usually don't really make a difference, you know, in in uh, on, a, on a secondary market. But jersey numbers, I think, actually do make a little, a little bit of, give you a little bit of a bump in value. All right, this is the glass insert, right? Case hit, and it's the famous Jameis Winston for Curtis Erickson and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Nice, TB Bucks. Two cases, the glass out of absolute, and the and the uh, patch auto out of prism. This has been a good mixer. This is a nice way, nice way to do it, folks. Nice way to close out this mixer because there's no more other versions of this mixer. All right, Origins football also has strong potential to have really nice stuff. Good luck, everybody. We'll use this blank card to slow play some of the hits here. Good luck. There's Goff and Eric Berry. There's David Johnson to 299 for the Cardinals. That'll be for Mark Glassman. And there's a Robert Kelly out of 150, 30, 93 out of 150 for Andrew. Your hits, CJ Bethard, 136 out of 175. Uh, that goes to Ryan Redman and the Niners. The on-card auto is Josh Reynolds for the Rams. Daniel Anderson, 25 out of 49 for Daniel. 
And the patch auto is, what a break. 87 out of 99, lights, camera, and action for Karen and the Saints. Some extra birthday mojo for Karen, nice. And she usually gets the Saints too. She's got them a lot. Three color patch and auto. Nice break. We got Run CMC, Alvin Kamara, uh, Kareem Hunt, Patrick Mahomes. All the all the big rookies are popping out of here. And we still have Vertex left. What next? Like a like like a Brett Favre auto out of here, or something like that. Man. This guy, Joe Montana. All right. I don't have any randomizers. No points, no randomizers, nothing. All right, good luck, everybody. Now there's a redemption here. That's interesting. Any guesses on that? Or hopes, I guess. Hopes and dreams. Yeah, Corey's looking for a Deshaun Watson. Steve Freeze is like, all right, I need some Cowboys now. This has been a nice break for everybody else, but come on. All right, Vertex is really nice. Let's see what we can do with this. We do have another four box of Vertex available in the store right now. Pick your teams. $41 of break credit being given away there too if you want to give that a shot. Um, we have time to fill it and break it tonight. All right, there's Nemesis. We'll do a left-right randomizer on that. There's Air Supremacy, Deshaun Kaiser. <coughs> Excuse me. Unbreakable, Antonio Gates. That'll go to the Bolt. That go, goes to uh, Neil. 11 out of 49. So this will also be part of the left-right randomizer. Ground control, Kareem Hunt. Relic is Demarius Thomas. Eight out of 25, unbreakable. Three color patch. Goes to the Broncos. Rick with Oppo Joe Mojo. There you go, Rick. A little something for you. The autograph is Adam Vinatieri, highly revered on-card autograph of Adam Vinatieri, 22 out of 49. Uh, Reggie with the Pats. All right, and on this side, got that blank card there. I very already got my own. There's Le'Veon Bell. Five out of nine. Is that his contract? Five years, 99 million? If that's his contract, that's just sorcery. I don't know if it will be. I don't know if that's even close or not, but it seems like a lot, actually. Um, that, the Steelers did say they want to lock him up for life, though. All right. Next one should be an insert. Yeah, Jameis Winston, Air Supremacy. And Dermonte Dawson for the Steelers, Super Bowl autograph. That goes to Mark Glassman with the Steelers. Nice. Right here is Zay Jones. There you go. So Daniel Anderson, 15 out of 99 on the other side of that Lions trade with the Zay Jones. So there you go. Nice. All right. And the redemption is Capstone's autograph. This has been a weird night, Steve. Been a weird break. Capstone's Dak Prescott. Steve Freeze, who has the Cowboys, said in the chat like three minutes ago, 
uh, according to the timestamp. He says, how about an Emmett or an Eggman? And then about a minute later, he goes, or a Dak. Pretty sure he's a redemption. Pretty sure he is, Steve. Congrats, man. Cowboys with a Dak Prescott quad relic and autograph. I don't think I called your number all break, Steve. With the Cowboys, right? There were no hits for you. The very end, I finally got you something. Yeah, kind of a weird sorcery kind of break. It's just been one of those breaks. Uh, Jaspie's Hobbyland, where the magic happens, folks. There you go. Congrats, Steve. Thanks for joining the break. Thanks for getting in. I got break credit to do and a left-right randomizer. So let's go to random.org. Yeah, this is probably one of the best, like kind of overall from start to finish, one of the best mixers that I've seen in a long time. Yeah, Steve says that was his one and only hit, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think that'll cover your $29.99 buy-in. I think that I think that'll cover the buy-in pretty comfortably. All right, left, right, and then everyone has a chance at the break credit. What did I say? Twenty-five bucks, right? Yeah. So name on top will get twenty-five bucks. No points either. All right, we'll use one dice roll for both lists. Good luck. One out of four, five times, left and right first. One, two, three, four, three, four, and five. Left side will get him, so all everything from Vertex on the left side. So you'll get this Troy Eggman too, the Nemesis card, Steve Freeze. And back to the main list right there. There's everyone. One and a four, five times, name on top, get 25 bucks of break credit. One, two, three, four, and a one. Five times, name on top. Daniel Anderson with the spot that he traded. Gets the $25 of break credit. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks, everybody. That was one of the best uh, kind of overall solid start-to-finish mixers that we've seen in a long time. Seven bucks off-season football mixer, random team three uh, from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We don't have any more of this particular configuration of mixer, but there is a hybrid multi-sport mixer on the website right now that you can check out. Um, and I'm sure we'll build some other mixers in the, in the near future as well. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Great break.